I feel so much bigger. Being pregnant is hard. <laughs> welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have a Thread Up goodie box here. So if you don't know, Thread Up is an online consignment store. It's kind of like a higher end Goodwill where you can go and you can buy used clothes at cheaper prices. And the great thing about it is it's secondhand clothing, so it's like recycling. So it's really good for the environment. I love Thread Up. I use them to get like better jeans. I've, I have like, well, they don't fit me now because I am pregnant, if you couldn't tell by the title of this video, but I've used them to get better jeans and just a higher end clothing for work especially. So the way it works is ThreadUp also has a goodie box service. They're called goodie boxes and you pay, I think it went up to $20. I'll find out for sure and correct myself across the screen. I don't know for sure because I got an email saying, hey, try another goodie box for free. And Oh, there's my, there's our family dog. Hi, sweetie. Anyway, so if you get a goodie box and you pay the $20 and you keep anything, the $20 goes toward paying for what you keep. So that's what's really awesome. So there are 10 items of clothing in each goodie box. And I chose maternity clothes because I am 21 and a half weeks, almost 22 weeks pregnant. And some women don't even show at that pregnant. I'm That's about five months pregnant, just over five months. I, sh I am showing. <laughs> it is pretty clear that I am pregnant. So I need maternity clothes. I needed maternity clothes at like eight weeks. This is it. This is how it comes. And I'm going to open it up here. This is what it looks like on the inside. And then this little thing contains info on the contents of the box and your return label. They have an estimated retail value. I'll tell you how much each thing is estimated to retail for and what ThreadUp wants uh, me to pay for it if I decide to keep it. So we'll get into this now. Okay, so here is the first thing. It's a pea in a pod and it's a size large. It looks like it's been pretty well loved. I'm not one for like a jean top. I am not even inclined to try it on, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it on anyway. Oh God. It doesn't even fit around my, I have gained so much weight in this pregnancy. This isn't, this isn't rough. <laughs> oh, they do say on their website that they could really use some maternity clothes to sell. So I think that they have a little bit of a shortage there. I don't know what it's like to be a seller. I feel like I have seen some people complain about that. I like being a shopper on ThreadUp, but I'm not sure what it's like to be a seller. But we'll we'll see. This is a big no. I'm sorry, I didn't even really show it to you very much. But this is a big no for me. I, I can't get it on comfortably. If I were to want this, it is a pea in a pod button down shirt. And the estimated is 89 retail, $89. And if I kept it, they would want $22.99. No, no thank you. <laughs> so this looks a little bit better. We'll see how it looks on. It is, I asked for a size large, so this is a size large as well. And it's by Motherhood, another popular maternity brand. And for this one, it's estimated to retail for $48. And if I keep it, they want $17.99. So we'll see how this one looks. I suppose I should take the dress off, but the dress really doesn't matter for the tops right now because it's pretty much like a tank top. This is actually not so bad. I might consider keeping this. So $17.99. Estimated retail 48. Okay, so here are some work pants. They're by O Baby and they're in a size large. And they are estimated to retail for $60. And if I were to keep them, they would want $21.99. Okay, so there's, I'll back up in a minute, but there's how it fits around the belly and the feel really good. I don't have a full length mirror. Everything that I think I'm going to want, I'll have to try on, excuse me, my underwear we're writing down. I'll have to try on in front of a mirror again, but these seem like they could be great. They are the perfect length. So there is the length of them. And I think that I think that these are gonna be a yes for sure. This is what I really needed was, I filled out this quiz and I said, work stuff, please. And I said pants and tops primarily. I think I may have also said dresses. Okay, here is a blouse by Motherhood. It's a large and it looks like this. I, I appreciate animal print, but I don't tend to go for it for myself 
but we'll try this on. So this is a motherhood bl blouse, estimated retail $48, and if I keep it, they want $19.99. I don't know that there's much give in here for getting much bigger. If it's me, great right now. Um, and like I said, I don't tend to go for animal print. And you know, it takes a really well-made blouse to not pull right here. My boobs are also about two cup size big, two cup sizes bigger than before I was pregnant. I I feel so much bigger. Being pregnant's hard. It also pulls right around the bust area. So that's that's a deal breaker just to begin with. I don't like that at all. So this is a no, but it's a no, but it could fit someone really well. And it, it feels, the material feels good. It has a very slight stretch. So it's comfortable to go like this and all that. Okay, so this is uh, also by Motherhood and it's a large. And if I keep it, there's a lot of Motherhood stuff in here. This is Oh Baby by Motherhood. I didn't know Motherhood did Oh Baby. Okay, Oh Baby by Motherhood. If I keep this, I'll show it to you. Estimated retail is $36. If I keep it, they want $18.99. So it looks like this. I tend to go for a more feminine look. You can tell I have this floral dress on for the purpose of trying on today, but I love this dress. Uh, so I, I, again, this is kind of like the animal print. I appreciate it. I don't tend to go for this kind of print, but I don't have a lot of room to be picky right now. So this would be perfectly fine. And it seems like it's going to be very, very comfortable. Especially just like kind of a plain work shirt. I think that I will probably keep this one. This is... This is good. Okay, I'll probably just go ahead and keep this at that price for maternity clothes. That's pretty darn good. If you are really watching this because you need maternity clothes, stick around to the end. I have been pretty successful in getting a good amount of maternity clothes at a low budget. So if you stick around to the end, I'll tell you a little bit more about how I did that otherwise. Okay, so this is cute. This is Sweet Wanderer Maternity size large. It's estimated to retail for $48. If I keep it, they want $23.99. Okay, um, something. So it has on the sleeves where you can button it and this one's buttoned and the other one is not. So I'm gonna leave it like that, but that's what it's, if it looks weird on the sleeves, that's what's going on. It also, so this is what it looks like if I didn't button that, which I would probably leave it like this for work. But uh, this is very comfortable. This is also has a slight stretch, so moving around in it is no big deal. I will definitely consider keeping this one as well. Okay, so here is another pair of pants. These are by Motherhood uh, Maternity, and they're a 1X. Right now, that might be a little bit too big, but I'm gonna get bigger, so let's see. Estimated retail is $48 on these, and the thread up price is $21.99, so let's try these on. And they're just black pants, so I'm gonna try them on. Okay, so here they are. They do feel big. There's definitely a lot of room. A lot of room in them, um, but you know, they have actually kind of a relaxed feel, but I do think that they are, um, they're kind of just too baggy around my legs and my butt though. If it's fine around the stomach, of course. So I will probably pass on these. I have a decent pair that I got from Amazon that are black that I really like, so I don't think I need these anyway. What did I say they wanted for these? $21.99, I don't think I'll keep these. Okay, so this one, there's the dog. Okay, so this one is Liz Lang Maternity for Target size large. And let's see what do they want. Estimated retail is 36. If I keep it, they want $18.99. So this is what it looks like. It's not really a pattern I tend to go for, but we'll see. We'll see how it feels. I don't think, I don't think this is going to be a yes.
This one's also a little tight in the shoulders. Oh, and the boobs. Okay, <laughs> this is too small. It's a large, it's too small for me though. This is it. Big, fat, no. Okay, here's just like a plain army green top. It's pee in the pod and it's a size large. And this one, what? They estimate that it retails for $60 and if I keep it, they want $20.99. This is what it looks like. It's just a t-shirt. I think, I think perhaps pee in a pod is one of the more expensive lines of maternity clothes. Uh, because they do have some really nice stuff. And this is very soft. And I do like army green, but I think I am good on t-shirts for maternity. Really, I wanted to find some more work clothes through this. So this isn't, this, uh, this kind of misses the mark on what I wanted. Sorry if you're seeing any kind of wrinkles from my dress under clothes. Most of the clothes haven't been an issue, but I think you might be seeing it this time. So this is a no, just because I don't need this kind of stuff. Now for the last thing, we have a motherhood size large maternity dress in black and it really looks kind of cute. So this one, estimated retail is $54 and if I keep it, they want $21.99. Okay, so I think this is really cute. I'm a little worried about the length. I'm not sure if it's a little bit too short, but uh, I, where I just moved to, it gets really, really hot here. So this will be great once it starts to warm up in the spring and toward my due date, which is in June. So it's gonna be very hot when I'm very pregnant. So it looks like this. It has this tie around the, not really waist, but the road right under the boobs. Uh, that's what I was just struggling with when I was talking earlier. I think that it's a good length. I think that the length is fine. It's a little bit wrinkled from being packaged, so I want that to kind of iron out. But this, I think, is quite cute. And I think I will, I will keep this. Yeah, I will probably keep this. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. I do recommend giving goodie boxes a try if this is something that's in your price range. Range If you're looking for, if your budget's even lower and you need cheaper maternity clothes and you can't find any for free, um, of course there's Craigslist. I did not have any luck on Craigslist because you just, finding something for your size is just really hard. So what I did is I spent, I took a few Saturday afternoons, Saturday, Sunday afternoons, and I went to Goodwill. And I just devoted three hours, maybe even a little bit more. I just made myself be in the mindset to comb through every single article of clo women's clothing and look for maternity clothes. And I actually did pretty well there. That just takes time. It's more time, but you save a lot of money. Uh, where I live, the Goodwill garments are usually, for the nicer ones, like $7.99. So I did pretty well that way. I also uh, asked for Christmas presents. I just said maternity clothes and told people my sizes and people would get me things with gifts receipts and then I could return and figure that out. But that also helps quite a bit. And then another thing that I did is I did spend a little bit on Amazon. I probably spent about $200 on Amazon on bras, underwear, underwear, they have maternity underwear, which I really do recommend, especially once you get start to get bigger. And I found some really amazing work pants. They're about $30 each. And then I found my favorite pair of maternity jeans, which was also $30. So that was on the pricier side, a little bit pricier than this thread up goodie box. So that was another thing that I did. And I'm pretty well set. I actually just could use a few more uh, work clothes, which is why I did this. So I think um, all in all, I probably spent $300 and I got an entire wardrobe, which is pretty amazing. You can go into 
a specialty maternity store and the pants will be like $80 or you go into just a department store and the maternity section is like this big. It's not easy to find maternity clothes and I was really surprised. So those are some tips on what's worked for me to find good maternity clothes. I don't know if that's helpful. I thought I would share. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing and if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I do a lot of really just girly videos. So I um, hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you later. Bye.